Hi everyone, Chen Hao here and today I'll be talking about how to install Kaze features from source, right, from the source code. So we'll be compiling these Kaze features from scratch and if you're familiar with the Akaze algorithm and you're interested in doing computer vision research, then this video may be for you because I have personally gone through a lot of pain trying to install Kaze features, things like OpenCV version, many, there are many issues I ran into so I thought that I would make a tutorial so that I can make your life easier. I will also be going through a bunch of common pitfalls that we might face and hopefully that would alleviate your suffering. Okay, so first of all, let's get our system set up. So let's go ahead and do the typical sudo apt update. So with that installed, we can go ahead and install our favorite tools, right? So I'm gonna install Vim and I already have it installed and I'm going to install make, right? So make is one of two, right now it's not installed. Let's install it. Okay, the next thing we're going to need is CMake, right? We're going to install CMake. Alright. Lastly, we're going to want to install G++. Let's go ahead and sudo app install G++. And those are the basic tools that we'll be using. So the next thing we're going to need to do is download OpenCV as well as a Kaze package. So we copy it. So do note that I am showing my own repository over here because I have edited the code a little bit because there was an error that popped up when I tried to use the original code. So I've gone ahead and forked the repo from GitHub and you can clone my repo instead. So we go ahead, I'm going to install it in the downloads folder. I forgot to say we need to install git as well. Let's go ahead and git clone it. And now we see that we have it there. So if we cd into it, then the first thing we need to do is, as for any package, it's good to read the readme. So a few things to note over here, this code is compatible with OpenCV3. Do note that it is not compatible with OpenCV4. Additionally, if we want to compile Kaze Compare, then we're going to need to download and compile OpenCV Contrib as well, because those are the optional extra packages that Kaze Compare uses to access Sif and Surf. So without further ado, let's go ahead and install OpenCV3. So going over to the web browser and searching OpenCV3, download the brought to the website. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to the latest OpenCV3 version and copy the sources. Then I'm going to cd into the downloads folder and download it. Alright, so we are going ahead and unzip it. And now we can go ahead and cd into it. And once again, as with any package, the first good practice to do is to read the readme. So unfortunately, there isn't that much information about installing in the readme. But don't worry, I'm going to guide you through the installation. In addition to downloading OpenCV, is to get the OpenCV contrib packages. And we're going to go to the 3.4 branch to get the 3.4 code because this OpenCV contrib version must be the same as the one over here. So let's go ahead and download the code and to do so, we can download the zip file. Now once it's downloaded, we can go ahead to our downloads folder and we unzip it. And now we can go ahead and take a look at it. So once again, let's read the readme and we are given some instructions to build OpenCV with these extra modules. These are namely the instructions that we're going to follow. In particular, when we build OpenCV, we're going to need to have this additional parameter passed into CMake. Now I'm going to go ahead and split the screen because I think it is easier to have both of them side by side. So on one end, I'm going to open the readme from the OpenCV contrib and display the instructions clearly. And on the other panel, I'm going to cd into the OpenCV 3.4.16 folder and I'm going to start building it. So first thing to do is to make a build directory just to keep it tidy and in here we're going to type cmake dash d opencv extra modules path and we're going to provide the path to our opencv contrib modules folder for us that will be downloads opencv contrib modules so normally uh, we'll just put the source directory like this and we go ahead and press enter 
but in this case we're going to include a few extra parameters because we are also interested in compiling with gtk support so we're going to write with gtk and set equal to true and in addition we're also going to compile it with opencv enable non-free and set it to equal to true so with these two extra parameters they are necessary for if we want to display windows we need gtk and if we want to use the sift and serve features then we need to use enable non-free so we'll go ahead and configure that so here's a small tip I can give you if you want to check your CMake definitions to make sure that you didn't get anything wrong because if you missed out something then you might have to recompile the whole thing. So what you can do to check it easily is to install CMake GUI. So if I type CMake GUI then we're going to see that it's not installed so let's go ahead and install it. And with that, if you had run CMake on the local directory and you have all the files like this, then you can go ahead and check it with CMake GUI dot. You can see all of this. And over here, we can search the parameters that we're interested in finding out more about. In this case, I want to check that my non-free is enabled. In addition, I want to check my GTK support is enabled. And we see both of those are true. And lastly, we also want to check that our extra modules is pointing to our OpenCV contrib. And with that, we can see that it is pointing there successfully. If you want to change any value, you can go ahead and press these three dots over here. And you can choose the path you want for your OpenCV extra modules path. And now we can type make j4 in order to compile. Alright, so now that we've successfully compiled OpenCV 3.4.16, let's go ahead and type sudo make install to install it in our system path. And now if we go ahead and check it, with opencv underscore version then we can see that we have installed opencv to our system path all right so let's go ahead and go back to our kaze directory and from there we can make a build folder then change into that and now we can do cmake dot dot after configuring successfully we can type make dash j4 and hopefully it works so let's go ahead and call bin kaze features so if we see the help menu then we see that we're supposed to pass in an image and some options so let's go ahead and do that and the image we'll be using is under parent directory datasets iguaza image one dot pgm and if we see the pop-up then that means we have installed kaze features successfully so with this image, all the green circles are features and the radius of the green circle indicates their scale. We can go ahead and test our other compiled binary. So we can do Kaze match and this will take in two images and I'm going to pass in image two and it's going to find matching features between the two images indicated by the blue line. So for image one, we have these features. For image two, we have these features. And they actually have descriptors so image 2 has some gaussian noise on top of the image 1 and we see that kaze is still able to match the features quite well showing that the kaze algorithm is robust to noise and lastly we can test out bin slash kaze compare and for this we'll need to pass in two images so we'll be using image 1 and image 2 and what kaze compare will do is it would apply the sift algorithm the surf algorithm and the kaze algorithm all three algorithms on these two images and it will let us see the comparison so passing in the first image as well as the second image we see three windows pop up the first window here we have our kaze algorithm we have our surf algorithm and lastly we have our sift algorithm so this is a good way to compare between the different methods and you can pass in any image of your choice and so with that we can conclude the compilation of kaze features and now let's talk about the few difficulties you may run into. The first error comes with not installing G++. So if you try to CMake, then it may say that there's a CMake CXX compiler error in the sense that they cannot detect the compiler to compile your code with. The simple fix for this would simply be installing G++ by using sudo app install G++. And now your CMake should run successfully. The next error you may face while trying to compile Kaze is this error over here where they say they cannot find a package provided by OpenCV with the following name. 
This means that you have not installed OpenCV successfully and I'll refer you to the steps to install OpenCV 3.4.16. This may also mean that even after you have compiled your OpenCV 3.4, you have not run sudo make install which installs the libraries in your system path. So after compiling OpenCV 3.4 and installing in the system path using sudo make install, we can now go back to run cmake, the parent directory, and the error message is gone. Another issue we may face is if we have this error saying that OpenCV could not call CV named window. In that case, following the instructions over here, we'll need to install libgtk as well as package config. Then we will need to reinstall OpenCV. And so in order to do that, let's go ahead and do sudo app install libgtk 2.0 dev as well as package config. And after they are installed, then we're going to need to cd into the OpenCV build directory again. And now we run cmake with the flag d with gtk equals to 1. So upon configuring successfully, we can double check it with cmake GUI. And if we search with GTK, we should see that with GTK it is set to true. Then go ahead and recompile with makej4. And after all that is done, go ahead and run sudo make install to install into the system path. And that should resolve your errors. There is also a possibility that you have installed the wrong OpenCV version, such as OpenCV4. This could happen if you, for example, installed it through a package manager, or perhaps you installed the Python version of OpenCV which automatically installed the latest one for you. So in order to check the OpenCV version, you can go ahead and run OpenCV underscore version. And if you see this number being 4, then you know that you've installed the wrong version. So to compile Kaze features, you're going to need OpenCV3. So perhaps you may want to uninstall your OpenCV4 and replace it with OpenCV3. Another error you may face is when they complain that you cannot use the patented algorithms without enabling the OpenCV enable non-free flag and in that case we will need to go back to the build directory for OpenCV 3.4.16 and we're going to run cmake again with the flag dash d OpenCV underscore enable underscore non-free equals to 1 then we can double check it with cmake GUI dot and search in for non-free we see that OpenCV enable non-free is checked and that is correct then after checking our configuration we can go ahead and recompile it with make dash j4 followed by sudo make install all right so another error that you may face is if they say something like sift is not a member of cvx features 2d then the way i fixed it was i actually went ahead to edit the code because i found that removing this x features 2d fixed the error so i'm going to go ahead and edit the kaze compare pp file inside the source directory and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy line 25 and remove the X over here. So I'm including an additional library that contains the sift features. Then after I'm going to search for the sift keyword over here. And we're going to go ahead and remove this X features 2D colon colon part. Now that we've edited the namespace, it should work fine. So let's save and quit and run make j4 again to recompile Kaze compare. And that compiles successfully. So another error you may face is having difficulties including or linking with the surf or the sif libraries. Then in that case, it's most likely that you have not installed the OpenCV contributions package together with your OpenCV. So in order to fix that, we are going to cd into our OpenCV 3.4 folder and specifically the build folder and now when running cmake dot dot we are going to include the extra parameter dash d open cv extra modules path equals to and we're going to specify the path to our open cv contrib modules folder so for me that will be under downloads open cv contrib 3.4 modules and now if we run cmake gui dot then we can double check the configuration by searching extra and we see that our OpenCV extra modules path now points to our OpenCV contrib modules folder. Then we can go ahead and run make j4 to recompile OpenCV3 along with sudo make install to install it in the system path. Then now we can return to our Kaze repository and recompile Kaze. So with that, we've come to the end of the installing Kaze features video. I hope that this video has helped you save some time. And if you did, please leave a like and comment and tell me what videos you want me to make next time. Bye.